doesn't love cabot cheese. You know Patty's got to go when she'll go in a portage on. You know what? It's just a jerk move. And it means I probably will never come back. Well, keep your day job. Okay. <laughs> I've been told that before on this channel. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We are making our first stop. <laughs> I'm so excited about this one. We are in Manchester, Maine. And if you've ever watched Discovery Channel, you may know Maine Cabin Masters. You can stop here. And I believe they have a store. They've got some food. The flowers are gorgeous here. Patty bought a new school bag yesterday, so now she thinks she can't buy something. She thinks, oh, I spent money, I can't buy anything else. She saw some earrings in here she really liked. So I'm gonna go back in and see about getting them for her. I told her, I'm like, school bag is for work. That has, that's not a souvenir. So let's go see if these are available. Here we go, we got them. Get them opened up here. There they are. Aren't those cool? $25 if you're wondering. Hey, it's the East Coast. So let's go surprise her. They do serve food here, and so we're gonna have a bite to eat. It's just sandwiches and salads and beer. Oh, I got the hey easy. Baby. I got the easy one. So they were gone. Somebody already bought them. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, so. I keep going with me. You're going with me. <laughs> Hopefully they're not too heavy. Oh, no, they're, they're so pretty. Does she look happy, people? <laughs> this is kind of nice being able to sit out here in the shade, That's take a break nice. after the first two hours. I'm not sure exactly what they're building here, but this thing's pretty cool. Uh, kind of like timber framing. Maybe it is timber framing. Look at that joints right there. And you can see they've got some uh, cornhole. i buy a piece of property up here. Maybe I, they'll build me a small cabin. Patty and I are actually talking. We might like to do that find a cheap piece of property and just build a very, almost like a tiny house to have a getaway. If we ever did do that, you could follow us as we build our cabin. I don't know if we're skilled enough to build our own, but. Really good. And yours is good too. <laughs> we shared. Oh man, these are nice sandwiches. Mm. What is mine again? Yours has pulled pork. Something else, meat-wise, but there's a maple barbecue sauce. Yeah, that's amazing. I think there might be ham on there. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a Cuban. Yeah. Like, variation. And then yours is good. I have the roast beef with bacon on rye. Mm -hmm. Yours is on ciabatta. So. It's really good. We just finished up a really nice lunch here. We're walking out, and some guy seen me getting, us getting in the truck. I guess he worked here, and he was kind of a jerk. He's like, next time you park here, come here, make sure you park back here. That way you're not taking up 15 spots. Like, there's no signage to tell you where to park. So, you know, somebody who teaches business and customer service, that's fine. You want to point that out. He could have just left it. Hey, next time you come, we'd sure appreciate if you park back here. Um, it helps free up parking. But to say it like that, to say, then you won't be taking up 15 spots. You know what? It's just a jerk move. 
and it means I probably will never come back because, you know, we spent pretty good money here. We bought some stuff and we had lunch, so. You wanna know my simple solution? Yeah. Put up a sign. Yeah, I would agree. Put up a sign if you, you know, so. If these are precious I I th guys. Yeah, I think the key is though, you, you should never talk to customers like that. And we spent a lot of money in We there. did, I mean, so. And it kind of ruins a, a, a nice morning, yeah. They could have came up if they really needed spots. They could have easily Told walked us. up and, and said, "Who's who has the RVs? And we'll show you and, where to park. and just said, would you mind just moving? We got a spot for you because we're starting to fill up in the lot. Plus, I think there's still parking back here. That's the there other thing. Is. And the thing is, I'm guessing most people who come here are tourists. So it's not like we come here every week and take up spots. It was, it was, a, it was honestly, a I'm just going to leave it there, but... Good morning, everyone. So I didn't record much other than the drive over here to New Hampshire yesterday after we left uh, Main Cabin Masters. So we are here in Hanover, New Hampshire at Stores Pond Recreation Area. It's run by the Hanover Improvement Society. And it's real small. It's on a, on a little pond over here. They do have a swimming pool open to the public, but campers are allowed to go swimming. And um, I think they have, I don't know, 17... 20 sites, something like that, real small. And it's it's very much like a state park, um, well spread out. You can see behind me, we're tucked into these trees. I had to back it in. You, you gotta be pretty good at backing because I had to get between two trees and then get it back far enough we could get the awning and the uh, slide out. We do have um, electric and water hook up here. $40 a night, we, we got charged 50 because they do charge a $5 per pet fee. Um, so, but still for $50 a night, I guess not too bad. I think we could have stayed at the KOA up at Keechee Gorge, um, but I believe that was going to run probably $70 or $80 with taxes and fees. Um, and you wouldn't get this kind of camping feeling. Um, now, I would have still got this, the, the guy making breakfast, because he's like attached to me. Um, so it doesn't matter where we camp we get breakfast cooked, which is nice. So, all right, I need to take some coffee over to Mark. And if you go up on that hill, we have a good view of the pond. Over there? Mm -hmm. These are tight sites, I mean, but what's great is on their website, it clearly tells you the maximum size rig. And we're pretty close. Yeah. This, this is this is kind of cool though. This is the water lines. They're literally on the ground. <laughs> And uh, you can see there's Mark plugged in there. Here's his electric box. And um, I believe, yep, 50, 30, 110. Yeah, so take a little walk here. We'll check out the pond. I was actually shocked when I booked this just uh, like four days ago that they had availability. So again, that thing about, hey, nobody is gonna be able to find a place to camp this summer. Not really true. You can still find places. So that might got a little overhyped, although I think out west, I think everybody went west from what I'm reading. So maybe out west it would be harder. But look at this, absolutely gorgeous. Now, for those of you that don't know, Hanover is the home of Dartmouth College, which is part of the Ivy League. And it's a quaint little town. Yeah, look at that, Sandy Beach. You know, I've shot so much footage here in Vermont, I don't even know that I should be recording today, but <laughs> who doesn't love cabbage cheese? <laughs> Patty, you can just sit right down with him. There you go. Is that your buddy? That's my buddy. You know Patty's gotta go when she'll go in a porta john. I did not film inside. I probably should have, but so they're not doing the cheese tasting, which doesn't really shock me because of COVID. So stores got definitely a different feel, but it is good that they're open, but half the fun of coming here was getting to sample all the great Cabot cheeses. So maybe someday that'll come back. We'll see. So we have made it down to Woodstock, Vermont. I love this little town. It's just quaint. I think I've used that word several times on this trip. It really is. You know, this one, Stowe is another great little town here in Vermont. There's so many great little towns in Vermont, but you know, shops and restaurants, things like that. And it, just some very historical home. Where do you take a bridge engineer on vacation to get them excited? You take them to old wooden covered bridges. Yeah, you don't have to be a bridge engineer to appreciate these beauties. Yeah, 
we had to come check out the gorge while we were here. It's like the Grand Canyon of Vermont. Yeah, you can actually hike down. We've never done it. And I'm not gonna do it today. It's too hot. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. Oh, shoot, did we miss it? All right, let's get us a cup of coffee. It's nice to finally be traveling again, but you realize as you go to places how different things are post-pandemic. I mean, King Arthur Flower, I've never been here that this place isn't just swamped. And um, one of the things I've noticed is one, they're not that busy today, I'm not sure why. I mean, today's the day after a federal holiday. Today's July 6th. But the other thing is, is like, they can't find staff. So the cafe shutting down early, it says due to short staffing, they don't have the product they normally have. And so it's definitely a different world, even though we're trying to get back. All right, our day of touring is over. So we ended up hitting Woodstock, Queechee Gorge, some Cabot, King Arthur. And now we're making some dinner got some sweet corn, we got hot dogs, we got brats, we got hamburgers, we got a spring salad mix. It is a feast. And beets. Beets. I gotta watch Just this. beat it. <laughs> beat it. <laughs> the picture day job. Okay. <laughs> I've been told that before on this channel. <laughs> so you're not the first, Mark. <laughs> Patty, this is truly a feast. Look at this. Yeah, look at all of this. Coleslaw. Food spring mix salad, mac and cheese, beads, hot dogs, bratwurst, chili burgers, corn, bread. bread. It's like harvest. I know. It's, this is like, uh, yeah, it's like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Or New England. New England Thanksgiving in <laughs> July. Travels with the lady. We'll see you on down the road.